Hey guys, Lost Wolf here. Welcome to Mission 3 of Star Wars Uprising as Victoria Kwong. Alright, without further ado, let's start the mission. Salvage of the Cruel Mistress, level 3. Happy Dap has another salvage job for you as part of your agreement to work off your debt to him. Alright, this time we get a higher reward, so we get a guarantee to aggro site and 4500... Uh... Credits. And these are the possible rewards. Nothing too noteworthy. Some right now there we only have one one tier reward, but let's get started. Okay. Got a job. Happy says you're here for the cargo of the cruel mistress. South Sector sinners grabbed everything from the wrecked. I ran with the Saudis a month or two. You were pretty young. Shot Kalu for me when if you see him, will you? I ever mention I'm glad when we're on the same side? Okay. So to open those doors, I'm assuming you have to activate this console here because it's glowing. Yeah, those spears looks pretty cool. Okay. So we're just walking around. All right, looks like we went up. So let's take out these guys in the same fashion that we did in the last mission by just shooting them. Man, I feel like I do a lot more damage just by shooting them instead of using my holdout blasters. That's how bad they probably nerfed it. But yeah. So I'll... I hope you guys are enjoying this game, or at least this is appealing enough to you guys that you guys would like want to give it a try. For those who haven't played this game yet, I think it's it's pretty fun playing this kind of game on a mobile. Cause not a lot of game like this on a mobile, so I, I'm glad Star Wars is doing something about that. Pew 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 pew. And I'm making this video like consecutively, like one right after another, so I had to take breaks and uh, drink some liquid to quench my throat so it doesn't get dry when I start talking. But yeah, I'm okay, we reached the boss already, so uh, let's get started. I won't consume that yet. Ooh, this Kalu. I can't say anything to him because he sh shoots me right after he sees me. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting I have... Ah, oh, He used it on me first. That was not cool. I'm glad he's not shooting at me though. There you go. Not too hard. And uh... I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm assuming I'm supposed to tap that savage up there. They didn't even tell me that. But I, I'll do it. Victoria Kwong, too happy. Got what we came for. Always liked you. Victoria, you know, I figured you run have run off by now. Maybe this will work out. I'd say you're uh maybe a whole five percent through paying me paying back what you owe me. Make it six, and I'll spring for drinks back home. Alright. And that's it for that little mission. It's not too bad. If you're here for the story, I hope you're kind of enjoying the story, but it's just the beginning. I think it'll get pretty more epic later on. But most people don't play this for the story. Most people play this to get stronger. Ooh, a blade. Okay, maybe I should use that in my next mission to show you how a melee weapon works. And I got... The Street Punk Gauntlets. I think I already have that. And I got a Damage Street Punk Crash Helmet. Ew. Sometimes I don't like these gears because they make my character look funky. And Crystal Chip Aggro Sights. Okay, let's go back. Okay, once a piece of gear is fully leveled, Upgrading is the ultimate way to advance its power. Tap on your portrait. 
Portrait Tap. Tap on inventory to view your gear as usual. Tap on the pistol view item details, same as before. So you can check out the details. Oh, tap, not hold, tap. This weapon is already max level, but see the stars up top? Those are upgrade potential. Tap on upgrade. So you tap on the upgrade. Upgrade takes crystals. Your recipe will automatically fill if you have the right crystals. Yeah, so... Tap on upgrade again to confirm. Okay, so it takes a two star aggro site to upgrade to the next tier. And it costs 2,000 credits. And now it's a two star pistol! Yay! Retooled Relby target pistols. Cool. Can I, okay. And I can't upgrade because I don't have any materials. But I also have a damaged street punk crash helmet, so... Let's equip that. Now it makes my character like, bald. And I don't like it one bit. But we can change that later. Okay. So... Let's... So your objective is on the top right. It will be displayed there whenever you get lost or you don't know what to do. So, talk to Happy Dap in the Carbon Score Cantina. Oh wait. Oh yeah, before I talk to him, um, I think there's an option to... Oh yeah, there's an option. You go to your uh, character portrait and you click Inventory. And you see this eyeball above your helmet? You can click that. So you can... Uh, so we can show that your helmet is off, but you still retain the attack and armor rating of your helmet. So since I don't like it, I can just click the eye and then it'll just leave it as that. Okay. And there you go. All right, let's talk to Happy and see what he has to say. One more ship and we'll have this mess just about cleaned up. Triken says, you have, you've even learned something. Still runt though. Alright, and then it moves on to mission 4. And uh, with each level you level up, you can do the next story mission. So, uh, there's a maximum of 75 missions right now, but you can level up all the way to 80. As of this video. Alright, Happy is pleased with the outcome of your last two salvage jobs, and he has another lined up for you to tackle. Finding the Space Manta. Oh, and then the Data Broker guy finally show up, so I'll take this time to teach you a little bit about the Data Broker. Uh, but I'll explain more in detail later. Right now, you can trade your, uh, what is it called? Your, your tokens, your hollow, hollow... She, I forgot what it's called, but uh, you can check out where to find those by going to your portrait and on the very bottom right There's a little floppy this looking thing you click that and it tells you all your currency that you have right now like chromium credits requisition script long-term smuggling contract shadow market exchanges and battle plane the battle plans So the shadow market exchange is to trade in chromiums for uh, credits so, you get 15,000 credits for 45, but I don't think it's worth it because you can always just earn credits through dailies and doing assaults every day. And if you want to spend real money for, for chromiums, you can, but I strongly don't recommend it because um, you can always get the gear you're looking for through doing assault missions and stuff rather than pulling them down the crane. Most people would like to use the crane just to get better gears, but uh, it's better just to find them through assault. Some gears can only be found through the crane and those are like from tier 5 to tier 7. But I'll explain more about that later. I don't want to confuse those are new too much. But the best one is to learn long term smuggling contract. You get 40 chromium for each login for 30 days. So. Say, and it only costs like, uh, I believe it's $3, $2.99. And then for 30 days, you get 40 chromium each time you log in. It's only good for people that play every day to make the most, to get the most of the chromium. So if you do the math, 40 times 30, 
that's approximately that is 1200 chromium you get if you log in every single day for 30 days so so say it costs 1600 for 50 dollars right you get 1200 chromium for the price of three dollars if you log in every day for a month and that's what i've been doing that's why i have so much chromium right now and i'm not spending it on anything because uh there isn't anything i want yet but it's good to save up for things you want in the future that might cost chromium and uh oh yeah i was about to explain the data broker so after you go to this screen right here on the left side there's two tabs if you go down a tab it shows you all the undiscovered uh, faction currency you have and i have five hollow discs so that's what they're called they're hollow discs so essentially what these are is if you collect enough hollow discs you can trade them in to get special loot and stuff and uh those include like a different variety of uh, credits you get um tokens you get upgrade materials but the only ones that don't give those things are the rumors up here which uh these rumors give you um the ability to have light and dark side missions which you guys can check in my other videos if you guys are curious about it so secrets weapons of the noble court is for the light side force mission and origin of Cahoon is for the dark side force missions completing both of these missions require you to be uh level 80 plus so there's no point in getting them now but it's good to start saving for them so when you have enough you can actually afford to get these and then start on these missions early so by the time that you're high enough level you can unlock it as of now the forest mission is not unlocked it's uh only goes up to level mission four for each side and i believe there's a total of five missions after you finish those five missions you get force powers and lightsabers and all right i think i talked a lot already i'm pretty thirsty after all that talking but thanks for watching guys i hope this will help you guys out especially for those that are very new to the game if you guys have, if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next epic lost wolf productions until next time guys take care <laughs>